Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable this option on your virtual box, which says enable nested VTX forward slash AMD hyphen V. So as you can see, I have this virtual box and uh, when I go to the settings of my Windows 10 uh, virtual machine, so I select uh, Windows 10 and uh, then click on settings. And then when I go to the system and then select processors, I want this option to be enabled, which is enable nested VTX forward slash AMD hyphen V. So let's see how we can enable it. So for that, what you need to do is you need to open your file explorer and you need to navigate to the place where your virtual box is installed. So in my case, my virtual box is installed in my program files. And then I will go to the Oracle folder here and then go to virtual box. And here we need to use an executable file, which is called VBox Manager. So this is that executable file, which is VBox Manager. So once uh, you located this file, we are going to open our command prompt. So just search for CMD in the search bar and open the command prompt. And once the command prompt is open, we are going to just copy this path if you have added this path in your environment variables, you don't need to navigate to this folder. Otherwise, if you haven't added the virtual uh, box environment variable in your environments, then you can go to this folder named virtual box. So I'm going to just CD to this folder. And then here we are going to give this command. So I'm going to provide this command in the description of this video. So this command is vbox manager, which is the executable name, then modify VM, and then this will be the VM name in your case. So because in my case, the VM name is Windows 10, you can see VM name is Windows space 10. If you are using, let's say Kali, then the VM name will be Kali or Ubuntu or whatever name for your virtual machine you have chosen, you just need to use that name. So in my case, this is Windows 10. So I'm going to use that name using the double quotes. So I'm going to just write uh, Windows space 10, and then you're good to go. So just replace the name of virtual machine by your virtual machine, and then just copy this command. I'm going to just paste this command here and then just press enter. So once you press enter, you just need to uh, restart your virtual box. So I'm going to just close my virtual box and I'm going to just open my virtual box once again. So I'm going to just open it once again. And now I will see if this option is enabled or not. So let me just minimize everything. And I will just go to the settings of my Windows machine and then go to the system and then processor and you can see now this option is enabled and it's also checked here okay so this is how you can enable this option on your virtual box which says enable nested vt x forward slash amd hyphen v so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video